Do subscribe the channel. Eat Kharagpur is developing a tamper-proof signaling system based on blockchain technology for the Indian Railways. International Conference on Green Hydrogen to be held in New Delhi. The center allows the Office of the Registrar General of India, RGI, to perform Aadhaar authentication during the registration of births and deaths. The 2019 MVBS batch will be the first to shift to national exit test, next. India and the Philippines decide to commence negotiations on a bilateral trade pact. Government unveils guidelines for green hydrogen production, electrolyzer manufacturing. Akash Ambani, the eldest son of Mukesh Ambani, will succeed his father as board chairman of Geo Infocom, the digital arm of Reliance Industries. The government prohibited the import of cigarette lighters if the price per unit is less than 20 rupees. Sydney McLaughlin, an Olympic champion, breaks her own 400-meter hurdles world record. Chowa Lu Krishnan Kutti, a well-known lyricist, author, and journalist from Kerala, died at a Trisur Private Medical College Hospital. The Assam Cabinet approved the formation of a joint venture Assam Rail Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited ARIDCL, between the Assam Government and the Railway Ministry to increase the railway network in Assam. The Karnataka Government launched the Kashi Yatra project offering cash assistance of 5,000 rupees to each of the 30,000 pilgrims willing to take up a pilgrimage to Kashi Vishwanath Temple in Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh. The World Bank's Board of Executive Directors has approved the financing of $250 million to support the India State Support Program for Road Safety and the Government of India's Program for Strengthening Road Safety. Justice Sri Satish Chandra Sharma took oath as Chief Justice of the Delhi High Court. A new species of spider discovered in the Thar Desert of Rajasthan has been named after a Malali arachnologist. The board of the food delivery company Zomato approved the acquisition of quick commerce startup Blink Commerce PVT Limited, formerly known as Groffers India PVT Limited, for 4,447.5 crore rupees, $570 million, for 13.45 lakh rupees per equity share in an all stock deal. Indian Space Promotion and Authorization Center, in space, has approved two space startups Daruva Space Private Limited in Hyderabad, Telangana, and Digantara Research and Technologies Private Limited in Bangalore, Karnataka to launch their payloads in space. Union Rural Development Ministry extends the deadline for mandatory payments of MGNREGS via the Aadhaar-based payments system, ABPS, to August 31st. No TCS on credit card spends overseas, Ministry of Finance. Turkmenistan unveils 5 billion United States dollars smart city in honor of national leader. Pakistan has reached a staff level agreement with the IMF for a 3 billion United States dollars bailout package. International Day of Parliamentarism, celebrated on June 30th, with the theme is Parliaments for the Planet. Virgin Galactic successfully completed its first manned mission to the edge of space. World Asteroid Day is an annual global event that is held on June 30th. Deepika Palikal Karthik and Harinder Pal Singh Sandhu defeat Ira Azman and Shafiq Kamal of Malaysia in the semi-finals of Asian Mixed Double Squash. India defeats Iran and enters the final of the Asian Kabaddi. Sanapati Gurunaidu of Chandrampeta village in Nilimarla Mandal of Vizianagaram district has become India's first weightlifter to win gold at the IWF Youth World Championships held at Leon in Mexico. Legendary Indian hockey player and and Olympic and World Championships medalist Varinder Singh passed away in Jalandhar at the age of 75.